Do you ever dream of a wondrous land that combines a quaint city with diverse architecture? Endless stretches of untouched nature dotted with dramatic castles and century-old traditions that define the place and its people up to this day? Stop dreaming. The place of your dreams exists. Welcome to Liberec, a region hidden in plain sight in the Czech Republic's north. Nestled in the embrace of North Bohemia's mountains, Liberec is one of the Czech Republic's lesser-known regions. Situated an hour's drive north of Prague, the region's capital is also named Liberec and it is a city with unmistakably authentic vibes. Beyond the city lies a world made of glass. The Crystal Valley is an area of outstanding natural beauty where glassmakers have been creating glass art for centuries on end. To the south of the Crystal Valley, the Bohemian Paradise awaits. Renowned for its natural beauty, this stretch of dreamy countryside is dotted with historical monuments and stunning castles. The city of Liberec is a perfect base to explore the region's magic. The fifth largest city in the Czech Republic, Liberec is one of the country's prettiest cities, thanks to its diverse architecture that features buildings of various styles and eras. Venice Square is dominated by the Neo-Renaissance City Hall, the most impressive building in the city of Liberec. Designed by an apprentice of the architect who built the City Hall in Vienna, the City Hall in Liberec bears a strong resemblance to its Belgian counterpart. From marveling at its elaborate facade, to stepping inside the magnificent ceremonial hall, to admiring the view from its tower, visiting the city hall is one of the best things to do in Liberec. A short walk from the city hall, the oldest residential buildings in Liberec await. Built between 1678 and 1681, The half-timbered Wallenstein houses are the sole survivors of this architectural trend. Back in the day, craftsmen, especially weavers, lived in those houses that now only their facades stand. But why weavers? Since the 18th century, Liberec was a major center for the textile industry of the time. In the 19th century, Johann Liebeck and his brother Franz founded a textile company, turning Liberec from an unknown town into a modern, wealthy city. Business for the Liebeck family was so successful that they built an entire town to house their textile factory's employees and their families. The so-called Liebeck town still retains its old-fashioned charm and it's one of the best places to visit in Liberec. Apart from the town they built for the working class, The Liebeck family also constructed several villas for themselves. One of the finest examples is the villa of Theodor Liebeck Jr., Johann's grandson. Other notable things to see in Liberec are the city's castle, the church of Antony the Great and the Feast of Giants, a quirky bus stop created by Czech artist David Czerny, who is also responsible for several eccentric pieces of art that adorn Prague. Founded in 1873, the North Bohemian Museum boasts a remarkable variety of collections that range from natural science to history and the arts. The museum is also home to the world's longest glass ladder. This 26-meter ladder, that looks as though it's made of stainless steel, is entirely made of glass. The ladder adorns the museum's tower, which, in its turn, offers breathtaking views of Liberec and the surrounding mountains. The indisputable symbol of Liberec in North Bohemia is the otherworldly Yested Tower. Standing in all its glory atop Yested Mountain, this TV tower is also a hotel and a restaurant. Yested Tower boasts spectacular panoramic views that reach as far as Poland and Germany on a clear day.
climbing to Yester Tower just in time for sunset cocktails, or waking up to the most majestic sunrise after spending the night within the walls of this futuristic building, are both once-in-a-lifetime experiences not to be missed. Tucked away in the vastness of North Bohemia's countryside, there's a shiny world made of glass, a world that seems fitting to the realm of fairy tales. This is the Crystal Valley, a graced land where glassmakers and jewelry producers preserve and evolve the region's century-old crafts. Since the second half of the 17th century, glassmaking has been a thriving business in this part of the world. By the 18th century, the famed Bohemia Crystal was exported to all corners of the globe. This is a very brief history of the Crystal Valley. However, to feel the essence of the Crystal Valley, you have to know the personal stories of the glassblowers themselves, the very same people that make sure these century-old traditions and crafts never die. It's I, I'm a glassmaker. I start when I was 15. Uh, 15 uh, is the age where you don't know what you want to be. But uh, I saw uh, the nice uh, movie in the TV, Czech TV, and there was a nice film about the glassmaking. And, and, and the, the, uh, the, the guy who was the glassmaker, I love him. He was very famous. And I, I loved the, the material that he used. That's I start to, I looking for, because I was already 15, almost 15 that I'm looking for some uh, some school where is it possible to to learn uh, glass making then I, I, I choose the glass school in the Novi Bor is it, is it a small town and I, le I learn uh, work with them and and, uh, and the time flying and after 16 years I say I love the glass very much that I will try to make my own studio and on my own own way you know and I built my own small studio in my, my, my house where I living step by step and later after five six years I opened this this house and uh, I, I used to more, more I, I invite uh, or I had more more glass makers more more, more people and um, now with the company is a little bit bigger than before. this was not my plan but you never know what what will be that's but we are very 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 happy we are we are together good, good team this is very important a visit to pachinic glass is the best way to understand how a family run glass making facility works while there you can also buy handmade glass objects that are literally unique However, Yuri's glass workshop isn't just a business for him. Glass blowing is his passion. This is why he created a dreamy glass garden and turned a 19th century church into a crystal temple that houses more than 300 of his glass creations. The process of glass making is fascinating. There's no better way to appreciate it than to join a guided tour of the Las Vitaieto glassworks. So the most important is the sand, sand it's about uh, almost 80% of everything. But uh, just the sand, it's a melting temperature, it's about 1700 degree. So for lower temperature of melting, we're using the soda and potassium. But when you use soda and potassium, then the, the glass is losing the chemical protection. So from the balance, then we use the calcium. And in this balance, we melting our glass, which is uh, which is a working temperature about 1200 degree and melting temperature is about 1450 degree. And how do we get the different colors? Yes. With uh, most of the metallic uh, chemical, uh, like example, for blue color, we're using cobalt. For a gold rosa, uh, we call gold rosa, but it's a red color, we use a gold. Um, only one color, which is uh, different like others, it's, uh, it's uh, amber, and uh, for amber, we're using uh, uh, flour or potatoes. Yeah. <laughs>
At the on-site Glassmaker's Tavern, you can enjoy your meal while watching glassblowers create little wonders. You can also get a taste of the Glassmaker's beer, a low-alcohol beer, that glassmakers are allowed to drink while working. The beer, it used to be traditional, safe to drink in the glass industry. In O1, when they're working, it's about 1200 degrees. This is quite hot around and you have to drink a lot because it's sweating, uh, you know, like about two liters you sweat out from your body. And if you can drink just the water, this is very heavy. So they're drinking also the tea, they drink a little bit of water and they drink the beer also. Not everybody, but uh, some guys are still drinking the beer because in the beer there is a mineral and there is a mineral B which need the body for, for making, uh, taking back the, the energy and, and um, keep the water in, in the body. Yeah. Yeah. Apart from preserving and showcasing traditional glass-making methods, the Lasvit company undertakes bespoke big-scale glass and lighting projects for clients from all over the world. In terms of sustainability, Lasvit supports the local economy by keeping the production in the Czech Republic while providing a creative space for talented young artists who want to continue the area's glass-making legacy. When it comes to supporting the local economy and encouraging young people to continue this century-old craft, Crystal Paradise in the town of Yablonets nad Nisu does a great job safeguarding the interests of the Union of Glass and Fashion Jewelry Producers. Uh, we have about 30 companies represented here in the store and uh, we have major ones and also very small ones. And it's always an advantage for the small ones to be a part because they are part of the association of the business and they can all advertise and sell here under the brand of Made in Jablonec. So they really can benefit and we have really small family businesses. They really benefit from being a part of the association and also of the store. In Jablonec nad Nisu, Crystal Valley Week takes place every August. This is an event which uh, has a very long tradition it's, in, it's been here for decades and it was renewed several years ago and it is an event which runs for four days in early August every year and it has several directions. It is an exhibition, uh, you can also buy stuff there which is, which is nice for the visitors but you also have demonstrations of production technique and uh, people can also do some uh, jewellery items themselves. Apart from that, you also have fashion shows, you have concerts, and it's really a big event that attracts a lot of people. And uh, it managed to survive the COVID years. So this year we had a record-breaking uh, number of visitors, over 8,000. But even if your steps don't take you to Jablonets nad Nesu in August, at Crystal Paradise you can make your own bracelet or buy locally made jewellery any time of year. While in Jablonec nad Nisu, another essential stop is the Museum of Glass and Jewellery. This vast collection of glass objects and fashion jewellery narrates the history of both local and international glass art. The museum is also home to the largest public collection of glass Christmas ornaments in the world, transferring visitors to a magical universe where Christmas never ends. All those glass masterpieces are not the only reasons to visit the Crystal Valley. This area is also known for its beautiful landscapes. One of the best places to take in the grandeur of the Crystal Valley scenery is Panska Skala, a unique natural landmark in the Liberec region. Panska Skala is a complex of basalt columns similar to the Giant's Causeway in Northern Ireland. This dramatic natural sculpture was created millions of years ago as a result of volcanic activity. Throughout the centuries, people damaged Panska Skala by using it as a quarry. Nowadays, this area is protected and never fails to stand visitors and passers-by.
the charm of the Crystal Valley rivals that of the Bohemian Paradise. Resembling a true fairyland with valleys, meadows, rock formations and ponds, and known for the medieval castles and romantic palaces that interrupt its otherwise untouched scenery, the Bohemian Paradise is a unique place to visit in Liberage. Among the area's many highlights is the so-called Cold Passage. This impressive gorge has a total length of 125 meters, while the height of its walls reaches up to 15 meters, plunging the narrow passageway that runs between them into darkness. One of the many historical monuments that are scattered across the Bohemian Paradise is the beautiful Seacrop Castle. This neo-Gothic structure that dates back to the second half of the 19th century houses the largest collection of French paintings in Central Europe, features original furniture and boasts a splendid English garden. Liberec is one of the Czech Republic's best-kept secrets. With its wealth of natural and cultural treasures and laid-back atmosphere, Liberec provides the perfect backdrop for a trip to remember. Not only for the responsible traveller who is always on the lookout for authentic, untouched destinations, but for anyone wishing to explore a land forged by the warmth of ever-burning furnaces and the kindness of its people.